Hi, I'm Joe, a tutor at helpingdevelop.com. Welcome back to the final tutorial in this tutorial series, and in today's lesson we're going to be going over profile.php. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to computer, local disk C, xamp, htdocs, and open up the membership folder and open profile.php. And once again, I'm going to be working in Dreamweaver CS 5.5, and you can work in any text editor. Once this is open, what we're going to do is we're just going to remove the title and remove what's inside the container div, and you'll see why later. Now, how the profiles are going to work is quite simple. If we open up the browser and navigate to the localhost directory and go into the membership folder, what we're going to do for the profiles to collect the variables is we're just going to use the URL variables. So we do profile.php question mark ID equals and then the value. So it can be any ID of any member. So let's just set it to one. Now how we collect this ID which we're sending here is quite simple. We're going to write if is set dollar symbol underscore git open and close square brackets and within the single quotation marks within that we put in the name of what we're passing through so the id which if you notice is sent via the url then we're going to create a variable named id and it's going to be equal to exactly the same then we're going to set an else condition to say that if the id isn't existing from the url then we're just going to set the id to equal to the session id Then what we're going to do is within the content we're going to be just displaying a test. So we're going to be saying we are using and then we're going to be printing out the ID which we're collecting. So this way we can test if it works. So now let's refresh and it says we are using 1. So now let's change the ID to 2 and it says we are using 2. Okay so now let's get rid of the ID altogether and you see we get these notice and this is because we're not logged in so no sessions have been started so we can't collect the session ID. So let's log in with my information, so joe at joe.com and then my password. And then let's navigate to profile.php once again. Without any ID being passed through and it selects 1 because that's my session. Now we're going to stop that from happening again, then notice errors coming up. And how we're going to do that is we're just going to make sure that the user is logged in. So we're going to type if logged is equal to 0 and this is what we set up in part 5 then what we're going to do, we can either set a header location like we do in the login to send them to the index page if they're, logged, if they're not logged in. And once that's done, we can exit the script. Or we could print out a message to the user, which is what I'm going to choose to do. So I'm going to echo out a message saying, you need to be logged in to view profiles. Like so. Now, once this is done, anyone can pass any information through here. So what we need to do is we need to secure this variable. And how we're going to do this is just like the register, we're going to be using preg replace. So we're going to put in the first three arguments, and the last one is the value of what it should be sent to. And then for the first one, we put in two hash symbols, and then open and close square brackets, and the up arrow. And then we put in 0 through to 9, as that's the numbers we will accept. So any numbers that are not 0 through to 9, we're going to replace with nothing, if that makes sense. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do once that's been secured, and we don't need to do it for the session as that was already secured in part 5, I believe. We're going to collect the member information from the information that we've got from the URL or the session. And how we're going to do this is we're just going to type query equals MySQL query, and we're going to put an or die in case that doesn't work. And the or die is just going to be could not collect user information. But what the query is going to be equal to is it's going to be select all from members where id equals the id we collected. And we're going to limit that by one, as there's only going to be one member with the id. Then what we're going to do is we're going to create a new variable named count underscore mem. And this is going to be equal to the mysql underscore num underscore rows of that query, which will count the number of rows we get back from the query. So if that count underscore mem is equal to zero, that means that the member doesn't exist. 
So what we're going to do is we're just going to echo out a message saying the member does not exist or something along those lines. And then we're going to exit the script. Once this is done, as it's going to exit the script, after this it will run if the user does exist. So we're going to create a while loop which is going to have a row equals mysql underscore fetch underscore array of that query within the brackets. And then we're going to open and close the curly brace. Now within here we can collect the user information. So we can put the username equals row username. And the same for, for example, the first name. And the last name. Now another thing we can do is we can just collect the ID from the database and we can call this something different, for example profile underscore ID and that's just going to be equal to the row ID. Now the reason why we're doing this is we can then set an owner status. So we can do if the ID is equal to profile underscore ID then we're going to set the owner equal to true. Else we're going to set the owner to equal to false. Now, down in the content, we can just change the title and we can put in the PHP print and we can print out the variable of fname. Then we can copy this, put a space, and then paste it and change the variable to lname. And then after this, we can do just S profile, so that will say Joe Smith's profile. Okay, now in the content, I'm just going to put in in head one tags the username. So we're going to be using the same print function, and in here we're just going to be setting the variable to username, and then we can get rid of this here. Now what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to be using a PHP to select if the owner is true or not. If it is then we're going to supply different links. Now how we're going to do this is we're going to open and close PHP tag and we're going to do if owner is equal to true open curly brace, go down a few lines and close the curly brace. Now between the curly braces we need to close the PHP tags and reopen them. And then we're going to put an else statement in and after that we close them and then after that we reopen them and then we end the else statement. Now this might be confusing for you to see but if you imagine it without some of the PHP closing and opening tags, for example, without, let's say, without this one, and without this one, or this one, and without this one, it would just be a normal PHP if statement. But the reason why we're closing them off is so we can put HTML within these content here, and it's a lot easier to write. So what I'm going to do is the if the owner is true, as so I'm going to set the edit profile link, and then I'm going to put a break tag in and I'm just going to set a, for example, account settings link. And then if they aren't the owner, then another user is viewing their profile. So I'm going to put a link which will have, uh, let's say, private message. And break tag and then another link which will allow them to maybe add them as a friend like so. So now let's view if this works. So let's refresh and my username gets collected and the links get set but you can see undefined index on the F name and L name. Now this is probably because I've put in the wrong column name which I have. I've put F name instead of first name and L name instead of last name. So now that should work and you should see the title change to Joe Smith's profile correct. Okay, so now let's go to the ID of 2, or in fact 1, and it still displays the same. Now the ID of 2 says the user does not exist. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to logout.php and we're going to register a new user. We're just going to give this user a username of test and a first and last name of test user. Then we're just going to give it a simple email address for testing purposes and a simple password. We're going to register that user and we're going to go back and we're going to log in to our other account which was joe at joe.com and then a password. 
Okay, once here we're going to go to profile.php and that displays fine and we're going to put the question mark ID equals 2 and you can see that test username is displayed and the name is test users but we still get these edit links so let's see what we're doing wrong now you can see that this ID variable of course it's going to be the same as we're selecting it with that ID variable from the database what I meant to put is if session underscore ID which is set in global.php as a global variable we could use across the site in part 5 so there we go and now it works so now if we go to one you can see edit profile and edit account settings and same with no ID then if we go to ID 2 you can see pro private message and add as friend so there are the two other links that you can have thank you for watching this tutorial and in the next tutorial series I'm going to be expanding on this series so don't think that I've missed out the account settings or that I've missed out the uh, add as friend because there are going to be separate tutorial series to get your real head around it so that you can actually understand what's going on. I believe this is a new way of learning or in fact an easier way of learning. So please stay tuned for them tutorials. I hope you've enjoyed this series and give me a comment on how this series has gone so far. If you want any improvements for the next series, if you want me to go slower on everything I do or yeah, just give me a heads up and I'll make sure that I do that. Thank you for watching this tutorial series on creating a member website.